Hello again, everyone. It's me, Mrs. TK, with another lesson for you from God's Word, the Bible. Got my big one here with me. <laughs> but before I get into this, I got to ask you a question. Can you think of some things you have seen that are very strong and powerful? I can think of a few. Uh, lions. Lions are strong. Tigers. Tigers are strong. And bears, too, for that matter. Lions, tigers, and bears. Huh, I've heard that somewhere. Uh, oh, and besides, uh, it, and I've seen all those, by the way. I've seen lions, tigers, and bears. I, I've only seen them at the zoo, but you get the idea. They clearly are powerful animals. What about other things? Uh, mechanical things. Bulldozers. Bulldozers are strong. Ooh, and those cranes that scoop the earth from the ground and move it by the ton. Very strong. Oh, uh, in terms of people, there's professional athletes. Wow, I have seen athletes do amazing things. Very strong individuals. Hmm, you know, athletes take, take a lot of pride in being more powerful than their opponents. We're going to talk a little bit about that today. Today we are worshiping God because he is the most powerful, the strongest. He's the strongest. He's the biggest. He's the smartest. Ah, he's the best. That's why we worship him. No one loves you more. No one can take better care of you than our God. Nothing matches God's power. Our Bible account today is so amazing that I'm going to jump right into it right now using my great big visual aid Bible. If you've been watching my videos for the past few weeks, you have learned about a time when God's people called the Israelites were slaves in the land of Egypt. You've also learned that God sent one of his people, a man named Moses, to set them free from slavery. Through Moses, God did some amazing miracles. Oh, but uh, there was somebody else in the land, an opponent. The Pharaoh was the ruler of Egypt at that time, and he was very wicked. He tried to match God's power. He told his magicians to copy God. Oh, you've got to hear about this. Let's find out what some of the things were that God did versus what Pharaoh's magicians did. Ready? Okay, God was going to show his great power to the Pharaoh to get him to let his people go out of slavery. Um, it says here that, ah, Moses threw a stick down, his staff, a stick. It's, here we go, his, ooh, that's, oh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> this is in there too. Okay, let's see here. A staff was like a stick that you could carry, and it would be like a walking stick. It definitely, you know, showed, showed your power. You could uh, wave it at people and stuff like that. It could be a weapon. It could be anything. Okay, so, so Moses was carrying a staff, a stick, and he turned his staff into a snake. That's right. He threw his staff onto the ground, and by the power of God, it became a snake writhing on the floor of Pharaoh's palace. Well, not to be out, uh, outdone in this, Pharaoh's magicians, his helpers, well, they had staffs too. Let's see here. <sighs> it takes a while. Okay. And they, oh, one of Pharaoh's magicians also took his staff, threw it down, and it became a snake. 
There we go. Hmm, not as good. So it almost seemed like it was a tie right then. You know, he did this and he did this. Power God, Pharaoh's magicians. Ah, but the power of God was shown to be way stronger because... The snake that Moses created actually ate the snake of Pharaoh's magicians. <laughs> yeah, I think we know who is more powerful. Our God. But there was more. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, Moses, through the power of God, was able to turn simple water into blood. Hmm. Not to be outdone. Pharaoh's magicians, well, they too were able to turn water into blood. Hmm. But there was more. God made frogs come jumping out and hopping everywhere and bothering all the people. Well, Pharaoh's magicians also were able to make some frogs appear. But God was the only one who could make all the frogs go away. The frogs were no longer there by the power of God. Pharaoh's magicians were kind of stuck with the frogs until that happened. Let's see. Ooh, this says that God took some dust. Oh, we'll use this for dust, okay? And uh, he turned that dust, put it right in there. He turned dust into, hmm, what was it again? He turned the dust into bugs. Bugs that crawled all over and flew and bothered, bothered the people incredibly. Well, it was Pharaoh's magician's turn. They took some dust, right? There it is. And they only had dust to show for it. They couldn't make any bugs appear. <sighs> Score one for God there, for sure. Ooh, dust. Then, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about this one. When, when, the, when the magicians weren't able to do what God did, you know, turn dust into bugs. They told Pharaoh to give up. They already had seen that God's power was greater than theirs. So they told Pharaoh, let's just quit this, <laughs> this back and forth. Pharaoh wouldn't listen. He did not want to let the Israelite people out of slavery. So it went on. <sighs> God had to teach them. They had to learn that he was the powerful one. God made sores appear on the people of Egypt. They had horrible sores everywhere and felt terrible. <sighs> but there were no sores at all on the people of God. Oh, no way. They were all just fine. Clearly, God had more power. And, oh, then there, there were other things. God made grasshoppers come and eat up all the Egyptians' food and, and hail from the sky that was just driving everybody crazy, damaging crops. So much was going on. God was showing his power. Pharaoh still wouldn't listen. And, oh, there was even this one. Get this. God even made it be completely dark over the land. No sun, no moon, no stars. Complete, utter darkness over the land for three days. 
complete and total darkness. That's when the magicians knew that God was far more powerful than they could ever be. They couldn't do anything about it because they were just stumbling around in the dark. Clearly, it was time for them to quit trying to be like God. Who was most powerful? Obviously, it's our God, not that evil Pharaoh's magicians. Definitely God. He's the strongest. He's the biggest. He's the smartest. He's the best. Well, he's the one we need to put our trust in. Like I said before, nothing matches God's power. Woo. But there's more to that Bible account. I'm going to tell it to you next time. But right now, I've got a big mess to clean up here. There's like stuff falling everywhere. How about if I clean all, all this mess and then uh, ooh, I'll get one of my puppet friends. Let's see here who's here to talk to us today, okay? Be right back. Look who's here with me. <laughs> I haven't seen this puppet friend in a while. This is this is Cookie Bear. Hi. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Mm -hmm. Well, what are you doing here, Cookie Bear? I haven't seen you in ages. I, I came cause, cause, cause I can do something cool, cool, cool. You can do something cool? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is it? Guess. Okay, um, can you, uh, whistle Jesus Loves Me While Standing on Your Head? No, that's not it. Guess again. Okay. Can you, um, can you dive from a high platform into a small glass of water? No, that's ridiculous. It is kind of ridiculous, sorry. Guess, no, don't, don't guess, don't guess. I'll just tell you. Okay, tell me. Tell me what you can do. <gasps> I can make something disappear. You mean like a magic trick? I love those. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do it. Okay, um... Like, like what? What can you make disappear? I hope you've practiced, right? You know with illusions, what some people call magic tricks, you have to practice and practice when no one's looking, right? <laughs> I've got practice in, believe me. Okay. Well, what can you make disappear? A cookie? You can make a cookie disappear. Mm-hmm. You mean like, like this cookie here? That's a cookie! Yes, it is. You said you can make it disappear. Mm-hmm. Well, I certainly hope you have practiced, because if you haven't practiced, then uh, you'll be making a fool of yourself on this video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, do we need anything else? Like, maybe you need to have a magic wand. I don't see, a like, a change device anywhere. Are, are, are you re getting ready to do your trick? I, I don't see anything except the cookie. Oh, yeah. I'm getting ready. Okay, Cookie Bear, because we would love to see you do that magic trick. I think it would be great. And Hey, where'd the cookie go? That's not a magic trick. You, you just ate my cookie. Ugh. At least say excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that's kind of silly. I, I kind of should have seen that coming. I know how you are with cookies. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, illusions, magic tricks. As a professional magician, I can tell you. They take a lot of work and practice, and you have to buy special things, and they're not things that just anyone can do. Mm -hmm. but, but, but you talked about magicians today. I did. I talked about Pharaoh's magicians who lived a long time ago. They were kind of a, a different kind of thing. Really? Did they do tricks? 
Well, they tried to imitate God, and some of their tricks did look like the same things that God's power was doing. Oh, how'd they do it? The Bible doesn't really say. I'm not sure. But what is certain is that they were a poor substitute for our God. He did things that were way more awesome. And, and it just kept coming and coming and coming. Why? Because God needed to show his power so that Pharaoh would give up keeping his people, God's people, in slavery. God wanted them to go free, and Moses was there to see to it that it happened. D did it happen? Did it happen? Well, we're going to talk more about that in the next couple of weeks. So I hope you'll be here to listen. What do you think, Cookie Bear? If you bring cookies, I'll come. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I just want you to remember that Pharaoh's magicians did have some success in that contest, however they did it. But what God did, those were true miracles, not tricks like I do. They were real miracles. And God's power is amazing. It just, you know, it just takes the cake. Cake? Cake? There's cake here too? Where? 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 Where is it? Um, Cookie Bear, I, I didn't bring cake. Okay, let's just put you away. Stop sniffing. I, I'm going to put you away and I need to pray with the kids now. Fine, goodbye. <laughs> Silly old bear. Would you please pray with me? Will you say these words in your hearts? In fact, this time, why don't you just say them out loud as I say them? I'll say it and you can repeat after me. Are you ready? Heavenly Father, you are an awesome God. Your power is greater than any other power there is. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks. I'll see you next time with more from the story of Moses.